everybody. Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and now we're taking a, another look at a song from one of my favorite bands, the Irish Combo U2, and uh, their song called Desire, which came out in the uh, late 1980s off their album Rattle and Hum. A really fun song to do, a very, very simple song, basically only three, three chords throughout the whole thing. However, the rhythmic structure is a little more difficult, and, uh, you know, if you're a beginner, you might have a little bit of trouble with that chord progression, but if you practice it, it'll really help your chops, your right hand and left hand coordination. So, it's a great song to practice. We'll get into that in a few minutes. But first, a little bit of business. If you're new here, thanks for checking out the channel. We appreciate it, but don't forget to leave us a like and hit that little subscriber button on your way out. That little red tab down in the lower right corner of the screen. It really helps this channel to continue to grow. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much for coming back once again. We really appreciate your support. But you can show your love for the channel in several ways down below in the description box. You can check out our Patreon link. Patreon is the place where you can find mandolin tabs for the songs and lessons that I'm putting on this channel. I've, uh, well, I've put a number of tabs there already, and I will continue to add more in the coming months, so check that out. If you're looking for tabs for some of the songs that I'm doing here on this channel, you'll find them over on Patreon. The link is down below in the description box. There's also a link down there for my new Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin video lesson series. If you're new to the mandolin, a beginner, or even an intermediate player, those video lessons can really help you get going on this instrument. We also have links down below to my Johansson Mandolin a site if you're looking at uh, picking up one of these mandolins. And my affiliates, the Sweetwater and Amazon affiliate links are down below too if you need any products like mandolin tuners or strings or things like that. They're down below in the description box. But that's enough business. Let's take a look at this song called Desire by U2, the mandolin version here on RPM. <laughs> All right, Desire by U2 is a really fun song. As I said, it's only got three chords, really. Uh, but one thing to note that this song is actually um, recorded in the key of E flat. They tuned down for this song on the original album. So if you're trying to play along with them in a standard tuned mandolin or guitar, um, you'll find that you're a little bit out, all right? So this song is three chords, as I said. It's like that. But it starts off with a an E chord, just kind of like... Something like that there. So I think what the edge actually does is he goes one, two, three, four, five. I think he does four sets of triplets there. So something like that. One, and you're just going up, down, up, down, up, down, right? Something like that, although a little bit faster, right? So that's all just an E chord. Okay, then there's a little bit of a pause. And then the chords for the main part of the song come in. And I'll show you them very slowly here, right? So you're going D, A, E, A, E. So. So D is second fret here of the G string, open, open, and second on the E, all right? So you're using a D chord. Then I'm using this A chord here, this voicing, which is second fret of the G, second fret of the D, and open A, so. All right, and it's a very quick transition between those chords, right? So, so now you're on that E chord that I showed you before. And by the way, the E chord is first fret here of the G, second fret of the D, second fret of the A, open E. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so you're going... All right. And I'm just hitting down strokes, down strokes, down, up, down. So actually I'm going down, up on each of these chords. So, so just watch my right hand here. So D, A, E, A, E. And what you're doing here is the strumming is like that, and it follows what's called a Bo Diddley beat. Bo Diddley was an artist back in the 50s and 60s who came out with a song called Bo Diddley that had that sort of that uh, very famous beat, and they every song that's come out that's had that beat since is called, has been called having the Bo Diddley beat, 
All right, so that's what this song has. Like that. Like that, all right? So just practice it slowly at first. All right, the hard part is when you're going like that. So. So I'm catching, I'm sort of catching that E and then the down with an upstroke and then a downstroke on the A and then an upstroke again. So, so like that. Can you see? So upstroke, downstroke, upstroke like that. That'll make it easier for you. Okay, and now the rest of the song, or another part of the song, does that. And again, it's the same two chords. Uh, it's a D and an A. However, I'm using a slightly different voicing on the D because on the guitar, in the original track, the edge uses a D sus2 chord. And all that means is he's leaving, uh, he's playing that D chord on the guitar, but leaving that high E string open. Well, we can do that on the mandolin too. You can play the D sus2 just like that, with just putting your finger there on the second fret of the G string and then playing all the other ones open. In other words, don't put that other finger down here. Leave that E string there, leave that open, and that gives you a D sus2 chord on the mandolin. All right, so. In the in the verses they kind of like red is on fire. I don't know what the words are there, but right. So and when you hit that D chord open, that D sus two, just just kind of linger on it for a few beats. And then on the A, all right. So the A is second fret, second fret here. So and I'm just going. So down, like that. So down, up, down. Desire. Right, and back into that part again. Okay, there's one other part in the song where he goes burn. Okay, so he's just doing, he's just going, and he's probably playing the D sus2 chord, or the D, whatever you want. The D sus2 chord, burn to that A chord, then the D sus2 to the E. And that part is only played once throughout the song. So again, it's like that. All right, those are the chords for this song. There's one little note. There's a little harmonica bit at the end that's done by Bono uh, that you can play on the mandolin. So while you're doing, while somebody else is maybe a guitar player is doing these chords for you, you can do that. Okay, and if you wanted to get that high E string in there too, play it as a double stop, you can. So it's a fifth fret here of your A, fourth fret, and a two, okay? Just like, and just follow the rhythm of the chords of the song, like that. And yeah, you can get that, you can, when you hit them, you can also hit that high E, and you can drone that high E as the double stop, like that. All right, and that's played right at the end of the song as they're fading it out with those, like that. All right, that is it. That is All To Desire by U2, a fairly straightforward song with only three chords, uh, some of them in a little bit different sequence, but uh, generally, that's, that's the song. Now, again, as I said before, that strumming pattern might be tricky for you, so you'd have to practice it slowly first, and I would recommend practicing with a metronome. You know, get that part down with a metronome, and then you can always speed it up later on as you uh, get better at it. Thanks very much for tuning into this video. Once again, a very short and sweet video for you this time, but I know you'll enjoy playing that song on the mandolin. Thanks very much for tuning in. If you're new here, hit that little subscriber button. If you are a returnee, thanks very much for coming back, but don't forget to check out all of the things down below in the description box 
ways that you can support this channel and show us some love. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Mike DeJong. We'll see you in another video on RPN. Thank you.